Hey, this is Ryan Cavino with RyanCavinoRealEstate.com and Northeast Realty Partners bringing you your Willington Mass single family update for the week ending March 2nd. Uh, we've been doing this for, geez, close to July, August, September, October, November, December, eight months now. And um, I'm going to show you real quick what came on the market this week. We got 45 Andover Street, which is a, a cape that's in North Wilmington. Um, taking 62 like you're going towards the exit 40 uh, on past the 93 take a left before the health center onto Wooden Street then left on Andover Street 45 is there on your left and this is a four bedroom three bath and it's 2400 square feet and it's pretty big it's pretty nice too it has some um, bright feel to it uh, it's priced at 379.9 which is pretty aggressive for a four bedroom, three bath, it has this much square footage. Title five is in process. It does have a one car garage, and it does appear to have a little bit of an in law too, because this is a a second kitchen. It looks like uh, in law, yeah, potential for in law or teen suite. So lots of possibilities there at uh, 379. 18 Wilson, which is off of Federal Street. This is a newly updated Colonial. You can see that the siding's kind of new. Let's take a look at the inside. It has some nice pottery barn feel to it. The appliances, countertops, and cabinets have been updated. Pretty nice for entertaining. And uh, a nice open floor plan there. Here's the living room. And uh, here's one of the bedrooms. And this looks like a very large bedroom. And the house itself is 2,100 square feet with four bedrooms and two full baths. Lots of updates have, uh, have happened here. Two car garage detached and lots of light. We could tell there was lots of light going through that. Now we had a couple of big boys going to agreement this week. We have 47 Marion Street, which is a um, just a split Gambrell. New construction um, off of 449, went under agreement. You can see all the nice finishes and the way that the place was constructed. Pretty nice finished basement, great for entertaining. Move right in. And then Eleanor Drive, which these properties have been in the market a while. Um, six, seven, well, it says three days, but um, this, this complex up off of Marion has been being built for a while, so maybe this one was just new to come on after a lot of them have been uh, up there. But huge houses, four bedrooms, two and a half baths. And then some of the properties that sold this week, uh, a little bit smaller, 11 Shady Lane Drive. Uh, no pictures, but it's a, a ranch for 218, 161 Lake, which is another um, split Gambrell. This is uh, it sold for 340, and the list price was 345. It started at 369, so they got pretty close to their asking, about thirty thousand dollars less after it's all said and done. Three bedroom, two and a half bath, so I'm thinking that they have a full bath in the basement as well. Pretty nice. Uh, maybe some updating needed, but it is a uh, turnkey move and ready for any home buyer 8 King Street which is a interesting colonial it's kind of sideways looking huh it does have some nice finish work might have been remodeled by somebody you can see that the kitchen has granite and stainless steel and high-end cabinetry and you can see the dark hardwood floors and the shower is obviously ridiculous you can see the shower head here just walk right in uh, we'll check the public record on a second and check the market history to see if this property was ever on the market. It sold for 160 back in July 2009 and then for 399 back in October of 2010. And then sold again or came on in October of 2010, so maybe it took them about a year to do all the work, but for 160 to 399, it's a pretty good deal. 340 Salem Street is a very oversized ranch. It's about 2,000 square feet, three bedrooms, two full baths. Nice kitchen, you can see right here. Great for cooking and entertaining. Hardwood floors, pretty nice size rooms. 
huge California closet or walk-in closet. I think one of the bedrooms, the third one was converted into this closet, which is awesome. Sold for 4025 when a started asking price of 419. And that property only took about uh, 45 days to sell, which is great. So great job pricing that one. And then lot eight, Jack Lane. This is over by the Shawshine School. It's a new uh, 16 lot subdivision. There's some attached single families. There's some standalone single families, but they're all new construction. Um, 429 is what it sold for. 429 is what it came on for. It took about 200 days and they were able to get that asking price after that market time. So let's throw in all the actives for Wilmington here. And you know what, I think it changed this six months. The average days on market for the actives in Wilmington right now is 59. Um, average list price 423, and days on market 208. The under agreements we have two of them at 564, and a market time of 112 days. So that property that was just on for three days certainly helped. The 449 took about two weeks longer than what the Average active uh, property is taken in Wilmington. And then the solds, we have five. Average asking price of, or average sales price at 358 and market time 94 days. So you can see here, you take in all these properties and average them out for the solds this week. The days on market is just above three months with an average sales price of 358, which is significantly lower than the 423 of the average, a average active asking price so what that's telling us is the properties that were priced below the average asking price had a better chance of selling this week uh, if you have any questions give me a shout ryan at ryancavino.com we'll talk to you soon